Hey, Brian from Graduate Hall. This is something I've been waiting to get. It's the electric lunchbox. Um, I'm on a road a lot. I do uh, like milk deliveries and stuff, and it gets cold in the milk van. And sometimes I want like a hot lunch just to kind of like take the chill out of my body. So this is something I've been really, really anxious to get. So that's the box for it. And this is like, I guess the little travel satchel. Let's open this up. I mean, like, really super excited about this. Okay, so. So you get the a thermal outside, so if you heat it warm and you take it out warm, you can definitely kind of keep it warm for yourself, obviously. Or if you have something that's cold and you want to keep it cold until it's ready to heat up, uh, this is a great insulated bag to, to help you do that as well. So, let's open this plastic up. So right away, you have your little directions that are included. And let me just take a quick look. Okay, so it's got a, it's a steam port here on this side. So when you push down on it, that'll get the steam going for you. Has that little handle. And then you have two buckles on either side, actually four. And then that will pull out for you. That's your whole little lunchbox assembly. And then this is basically the heating element that's on the bottom. So we'll put that back in there. And then that is going to be open up. And then you have, oh, I didn't even know it came with this. It comes with a, uh, a fork and a spoon. How cool is that? All right, so that's that, your compartment there. And then we are going to take this top off completely, separate the two pieces. I missed something, did the handle go straight up? Oh, there we go, okay. So it was kind of like more of a, like a, kind of like more of a suction fit. I bet if you open, yeah, so if you let this, the steam valve, if you open that, that will definitely open that a lot quicker and easier for you. So I like that, it's got a little utensil holder. So this is, so you get your power adapter for your uh, your work truck or your car, however you're traveling. Then you have the little electrical cord here in case like you wanna make something at your, uh, your desk or heat it at your desk before you run to the cafeteria, you can do that as well. So we're going to use this little electric piece right here. And then that is your electrical compartment. So it gives you, it's kind of breaks down. Hopefully you can see it. It's got a DC and then it has the AC. So the AC is obviously going to go to the right. And it kind of looks like the rounded side goes on this side. Okay, so that goes in. And then it shows, you have a, the lamp here, so it's already heating to kind of give you an idea. And then that is your, your tray that will sit down on that. And then we're just going to put the lid on here real quick. And we'll do a temperature reading here in a second. And we'll see exactly how, uh, how warm it's getting. And let me see if there's any other. Okay, so I was just reading through some tips on there. Obviously, you don't want to leave this plugged in while you are eating. So you just keep that on, uh, plugged in to either your uh, AC or your DC outlet in your vehicle, but don't eat with that on. Always make sure that you open that steam valve. Um, you can keep these locked down, so you really keep the heat like concentrated in this area, but make sure you have that steam valve open. So uh, into your lunch tray itself, you wanna make sure that you probably add, um, depending on what type of meal you bring with you, you may want to bring, you know, add a little bit of water into each one of these trays. Um, it, I can actually feel the heat going already through this. So let's bring out the temperature gun and let's measure the heating element first. So let's put it into, so I got the set in Fahrenheit. So you can see the temperature climbing. Let me try to get the, the least amount of glare on that as possible. It was about 70, 72 degrees and climbing. 
And then our tray obviously had that in for a quick moment. So it's 74, 75, and the temperature keeps rising. So that's that's about 80. So let's heat let that heat up for a little bit while longer, and then we will uh, we will come back and I'll show you exactly what the temperature is. All right, so we are about another two minutes into this, and it's about 88, going 89, 90 degrees. So the temperature keeps going up. So let's uh, let's check it. Uh, we'll check it after about five minutes. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. So it's been about 10 minutes. So we're going to see, I mean, you can feel the heat coming out of this already. And temperature reading wise, it's about, it's about 140, 138. The tray is like kind of jumping around, but obviously it seems like a lot of the heat is concentrated here in the middle. And it looks like it is like 134. And it kind of like bounces back and forth. Hopefully you can kind of like see that. Let me see if I can't get that better angle for everybody here at home. So depending on what part of the tray you are at, it looks like it's about 136 on average. 130, 120, 128. So right there in the middle seems like we're going to get the most stable temperature in the 130s. But yeah, you can definitely feel the heat coming out of this. So if you had some food in there, it depends on the quantity of food you have as well. Uh, the more food that you have, the longer it's probably going to take to, to reheat. Obviously, your rule of thumb. But uh, this is a great, great thing I'm looking forward to using on the road. One with that adapter, uh, with the power adapter here. I can plug it into like my, my truck's power outlets, get a nice warm meal on the road. And uh, sometimes like I just want to reheat something and I don't want to microwave it. This is also a great alternative to have at your, uh, at your desk if you don't go into the cafeteria or you can actually bring this into the cafeteria and heat. But I would probably let this warm up for probably um, 10 or 15 minutes just to kind of bring this to temperature and then depending on how warm or hot you want your food, uh, it may vary. I think I was reading somewhere that it's probably heating times is like 30 to 40 minutes. So just kind of give yourself a heads up on that. Um, other than that, yeah. Brian from Garage Mahal, love this thing already. Uh, be safe out there.